You ever crash a drone? Hit a tree, trying to do that epic dive, gap that you've been eyeing up, and GoPro ends up like this? And Best Buy don't want to change it for you. So what do you do? Well, stay tuned. the shattered lens. So you want to try to heat up around the screen here. And there's a little pry thing here where you kind of open it up at. So. Now it's going to get kind of hot. So you don't want to hold it in your hand. It's going to nice even heat around there. Now it's going to be hard to try and get it off. Why don't you kind of work it around? You'll get it going right through. Heat it some more. Now I think iFixit has I fix it has a um a kick, a pry kick, but I'm a DIY figure it out yourself type. So I kinda use the tools that I have necessary at the time. But I fix it has a pretty good kick. You can get now I wanna try to be really careful with it because I want to put it back together pretty clean without destroying the case. That's the goal. You want to kind of be as clean as you can get it because if you destroy the case, then it's it's kind of screwed. Now that works if you're making naked GoPros and stuff like that, but I plan on fixing the 7 back to how it is. So once you get the plate off, see the glue? So that's where I was heating around the screen. Try to stay away from the lens area, heat around the screen. That's why I like to use the knife. The knife kind of helps get into the edge, but be careful because it's a knife. It can cut you, obviously. But so, looking at the camera, it's pretty clean. Very little glue residue around it. The case is probably reusable. I could seal this back up. It would be cool. Um, so. Get yourself a little dish, container, something. Keep your screws kind of organized here because it's going to get kind of. So I got these squares. I'm gonna use the squares to kind of keep me in sync here. <clears throat> so six screws around the front. This one don't have a um, charger port door, so you got ribbon cables underneath of this plate. So when you start to lift it, you'll see the ribbon. You don't want to rip these. They're plugging in there. So you just want to kind of pry it carefully. You don't want to damage anything. And it should come free. Sometimes it'll be a little pain in the ass, but. Alright, so there's the ribbon cables. That's the battery door. So, take the power off. Pull the ribbon cables up. Alright. Now I'm not sure if the lens. Well, I guess I can see. Now what I'm going to do here is just make sure that the parts that I do have, I'm going to put it back together if it records. So if it doesn't record, I have a front uh, CCD sensor right here. I know it's working. So 
We'll swap that out. Now we're going to insert the battery. Screen's on. No record. Now, gonna, this is kind of just attached to it, so carefully. Carefully remove it. Now see, I still have the glue. I'm gonna do it carefully, where it didn't rip the stone. But you kind of want to do it clean. You want to lift this little tab up to help you kind of guide it. Slide it out. <clears throat> All right, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six Phillips and this little black piece. And with the black piece, so that's just kind of like a sticker. Peel that back. Go ahead and remove your Phillips. I noticed that one was longer, so put that aside. Got one underneath. Long one goes there with the metal bar. That should slide down, or not right now. I'm going to grab the metal bar. And this little microchip is going to come out with a USB. I'm going to have a Phillips here. Well, don't be like my fucking big sauce is rubbing fingers and almost crushing. All right, so ground sensor's here. We're just going to take that one. So. One little thing for the LCD here, and one here. If you're swapping parts around like I am, don't get them confused because it will, that will mess you up. All right, and then carefully remove this one and the transplant into this one. Once you give it a wiggle, it should essentially come out. <clears throat> and then make sure you don't that ribbon cable. Don't pinch it down under here. Because we will need that later. Alright, make sure it seats down in there pretty good. Go ahead and press that back down into there. Go ahead and put your CCD sensor ribbon. Make sure it's seated good. All right. Next, you want to place Once you got that, go ahead and put your two longer ones back up top. Mm 
make sure you tighten them. You FPV guys are going to be crashing, jiggling stuff around, definitely tighten them. All right, next. Stick that back down. Take your support. Stick that. Go ahead and put your two. Longer ones back in. Now with this, when you tighten this one, that little bar makes a contact. I don't know if you guys can see that. Make sure it's it's like that when you tighten it. There was a reason it's like that. All right, make sure they're tight. Go ahead and plug your ribbon cable back in, like so. All right, and then. that take your new screen plug your battery in first or um, push this down first so I ripped it on this one so it's kind of just gonna be there when I put it back together that should be okay this is gonna be a sender sender camera anyway obviously it's powered on Then we have a working hero seven camera. See when they're good. Put your six screws back in the faceplate. Push your back up. Put your face plate. Not for me. I'm just going to take this off. So once you put the lens on, then I'm going to hold it. So, after swapping on off, on off, changing the screen and the front lens sensor, seem to fix it for now. Got a nice picture. I'm getting sleepy, it's getting late. But yeah. Oh, another GoPro fix by the GoPro Guru.